Today we'd like to show you how to access the Online Teaching Gazette and be able to navigate around its interface. You should have received an announcement letter from Open SUNY Coat. In that letter, click the link to the Online Teaching Gazette. Once the paper opens, you will be able to see a number of things. At the top, you have a menu of topics. These are the categories of the newspaper. If you click on more, a drop down menu will give you some additional categories. You can also click all articles to see every article in the paper and categories that also may not be displaying in the top menu. The top listing are the main categories, the main headlines of the paper for this particular publication. If you scroll down underneath those, you will find different sections of the paper. There's a section for videos, a section on pedagogy, a section on general education topics, an area for photos, category for ed tech, business, higher education, research reports, and in addition there is an events category as well that you will see when you click the more menu and select all articles. In any of these categories you will see the articles that were promoted. If you would like to see additional articles, for example, in the business category, you would come down to the bottom here and click All Business. In doing so, this pulls up all of the articles related to business. Now, if business is a category that you are interested in and you want to subscribe, you can click the RSS button to receive feeds just from this category. However, most people will prefer to subscribe to the paper as a whole. To do that, you simply type here your email address, and you go ahead and type the word that is displayed, and you can hit subscribe. You'll receive an automated message that indicates your subscription was received, and you will receive updates to your email that look something like this. Whenever a new issue is published. It will have the categories and it will have some highlighted headlines for you for that edition. So we hope that you find this paper useful and we look forward to curating this together and receiving updates.